Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than what we usually do. By the way, do you like my laptop skin? Pretty dang cool, huh? But anyways, let's jump right into this. So our Tarantula YouTube community has come together. We've all came together in Facebook and decided to do something together. And that'll be this Tarantula tag. I'm pretty sure you have seen some of the Tarantula YouTubers do this. So this idea started from Tarantula Cat. You can go over to her channel. I'll link it in the description. She was the first one to do this tag video. She came up with all these questions, so thanks Cat. So basically how this works is the person who is tagged will have to tag another person in the end of the video. And in his video, he'll have to answer all of these questions. I think this is a really great idea, something different than what we usually do, but I think it's good because we can interact and get to know each other better. So that's enough of me talking. Well, I'm going to talk this whole video anyways, but that's enough of looking at the screen. Let's get to the question. So what got you interested in tarantulas? So if you've watched other tarantula YouTubers doing this tag, you will know that this is a very common answer. So basically when I was young, I was terrified of big spiders. Small spiders, I was perfectly fine. I used to catch jumping spiders, keep them in these matchboxes. I, I don't know why. And then I didn't know what to feed them and eventually after a week or so, they die. Which is so sad. But come on, I was a kid so don't judge. But when it came to big spiders, like for example, my grandma stole an earring here. If I were to see this spider, well not this one, I mean something that's big like this running around, I'll be like, hell no, you stay away from me, so yeah, I was terrified of them. And usually the big spiders that I find around my garden are these bloody huntsman spiders. And why am I even talking about this? Because I'm still scared of them. But yeah, I will see these massive spiders running around the garden and I'll back off. I would stay at least 20 feet away from them. So I guess technically now you can say that I'm less scared of them since I can hold it like this and still capture this guy. Last time I'll be like, hell no, you stay 20 feet away from me. So after the years passed of being afraid of massive huntsman spiders, which I'm still afraid of, I don't see any difference. <laughs> um, one of my friend's friend bought a tarantula as a pet. And that tarantula that he bought was a rose hair tarantula. Well, not this one, but he had his own. And then unfortunately, he didn't know what to feed it and it died. It died like after a week. And at that time, I never knew that tarantulas, oh, whoa, whoa, chill out. But yeah, as I was saying, back then, I didn't know tarantulas could be kept as pets. I thought it was pretty cool to get a big spider as a pet, but then I was still afraid of them. So one day, this brings me to the second question which is what was your first tarantula okay so this was about a year after that guy's rose hair died my friend got me a tarantula so he was like he found this person selling on facebook and i was like that's pretty cool but then it's a big spider would that be a good idea then i just decided yeah sure let's get one so the first tarantula species that i got was a choco golden -y. not this one actually my first choco golden -y turned out to be a mature male. So I brought him over to my friend who had a mature female and then they bred. And this one that you're seeing right now is the baby of my male. So that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. So I was choosing between a Chaco Goldeny and a Ceratogyrus Darlingi. Well, the Darlingi looks so much better than Chaco in my opinion because I like grey spiders and to top it off, this one has a horn. Wicked. But then I read about these guys and it says that they are much more defensive than Chacos. So being scared of big spiders, I was like, yeah, let's go with the Chaco and we'll get this next time. So we decided to get the Chaco Golden Knee and the next day it arrived at my house. It was a really quick transaction, so that was awesome. Now let me check my computer to see if I still have the picture of my first tarantula. So I found some old pictures of my Chaco Goldeny when I just got it. This is my first tarantula. This one right here. That's how big it was when I first got it. Now this is after a couple of months when it became like, I think this was about two inches. So cute. And there's him, first time witnessing a tarantula drinking water. Hiding under his log. And this was his setup. Pretty cool, with the little skull over there. There we go, there he is. Yep, that's it. 
So that's my first tarantula, which became a father to so many slings. I was so proud. And I named him Chaco. How original. This was not supposed to be answered in the question, but this is my second sling, which is a Ceratogyrus darlingi. And that darlingi sling is her. Yep, this is my second tarantula. Still gorgeous and thriving like a beast. This video, one of the more, one of my more popular videos, all these babies were actually from my second tarantula, that darlingi that you just saw. Man, I was so proud. My first tarantula gave me babies and so did my second. That was awesome. Now you know what my first tarantula is and second, let's move on to the next question. What is your favorite species? <sighs> okay. Now, you look at all these and these and these, these as well up there. Here, how can I forget the slings? And everything that is upstairs in my room. Guys, seriously, I have no favorite tarantula. It's so difficult to pick one. I mean, it's like choosing which is your favorite child. I don't have a child, but I mean, you guys who have multiple children, those of you who do, do you pick a favorite? And let me know in the comments. I don't know, I'm not a parent, so this isn't my topic. But since it's a must, since it's in the question, uh, cat, why do you have to give me this question? I'm gonna have to pick my Samopos Cambridgei, the Trinidad Chevron. You can't really see her because she's way in there. But you know why I picked this one? That is why. Her feeding response is just mm, perfect. I mean, she's my third tarantula and since then, she has never ever refuse the food, unless in primo, but for the most part, she will eat. Even close till she molts, she will eat just before, maybe a few days before, she won't. But you wouldn't imagine how awesome these guys are. If you guys don't have a Cambridge Eye in your collection, what are you doing? Go and get one right now. If you want something that eats like a champ, go get one. Question number four. What is your dream tarantula? Hmm, I can't remember the name. Was it a P or T? Psychedelicus? Oh, there we go. Thrigmopoeus psychedelicus, that's right. Why was it under for sale? Come on. No, wrong one. Psycho, what? Psychedelicus, there we go. Guys, 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 look at this tarantula. Tell me that this Tarantula isn't gorgeous. It has blue, it has purple. You can't get any more gorgeous than this. Look at that. Oh, damn it. Oh my goodness. Look at this tarantula, guys. This is definitely on my wish list, but they, I've seen them being sold before. But as slings, they are like 700 bucks. Crazy. So yeah, that's my dream tarantula. I guess it's good to dream. <laughs> In the future guys, soon, very soon, I hope, I guarantee you, I will get that tarantula, mark my words. So, moving on, how many tarantulas do you currently have? This is like the most common question I get asked in the comments. Well, I usually tell people 70 plus, but to be honest, I've lost count ages ago. It's not as much as some collectors and YouTubers out there, but I'm very forgetful, so. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 70, 7, 1, 2, 3, 7, 4, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 7, 78, 79, 80, 81, yeah. I think it's about there. I think I missed some, but it's about 81. I'm probably gonna forget that amount tomorrow, but who cares, let's move on. Introduce us to one tarantula. What to pick, what to pick. Introducing my Monocentropus balfouri. So this is one of my most gorgeous looking species. And I bet you can tell why. Like seriously, it's a peach tarantula with a kiwi butt. Oh, <laughs> I think he heard my compliments. She. She heard my compliments. And then with blue legs and black mouth. That's pretty cool, if you'd ask me. 
What was Mother Nature even thinking? Okay, calm down. You better calm down and don't tag me. Uh oh. No, this is not good. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just here to introduce you. Get back in and stay in. Okay? You stay in. Very cheeky little guy. No, stay in there. So that's a tarantula that I'm gonna introduce you to. Almost got a heart attack there. Thank goodness she didn't bolt on me. I mean, she's a baboon and she is super fast. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> moving on. Let's feed one tarantula. Let's feed the dark earth tiger. I mean, look at the webbings that she's made. Amazing. Super worms. Okay. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Nice. This one's a little bit plump, so you're not gonna see her in next feeding video since we've already fed her. Awesome eater. Love this species. And it's doing a little happy dance for us. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. What is your favorite tarantula YouTube channel? Yeah, you've guessed it. I'm gonna have to say Dark Dan. I watch many other YouTubers as well, but why I like his videos, there are two main reasons. Number one, I like his clear close-ups. He uses his cameras and for different angles, and it's really, really good. I really like it, I really enjoy it. The second reason is because he cuts out all the unnecessary footages. Like, he doesn't keep us waiting he just puts stuff that are necessary in the video and cuts out all the boring stuff am i allowed to mention another channel i love lord alliance channel like he is hilarious i mean all his edits is just perfect go check out some of his videos some of the music that he used to edit his in his video edits is like oh it, it really makes my day go check him out do you have any other exotic animals or reptiles well We've got Fatso, Alvarg, Pissy, Rouge, Elvira, Penelope, Monty, Froggy, Hera, Zeus, and Bella. So yeah, those were the members of the Exotic Slayer. Now I'm gonna have to tag someone to do this. Oh, before I tag someone else to do this, I'm supposed to answer a question. This is the question that Eerie Arachnids asked me. If you could go anywhere in the world to observe wild tarantulas, where would you go and why? I would want to go to Brazil. Because, well, not because of that. <laughs> um, I want to go to Brazil because there are so many different tarantulas over there. Like, I think half, more than half of my tarantulas are from Brazil, which is pretty cool. It's like a tarantula haven there. Do we have the Goliath bird eater there? I think they're from South America. Yep, they are, but I'm not sure if they're from Brazil. But if you ask me for other species of spiders, I would want to go to Australia because they have that Sydney funnel web spider. And I am a person that is very fascinated by something that can kill you. So I wanna go to Australia. I've been to many places in Australia. I've been to Darwin, Adelaide, Brisbane, Melbourne, but I wanna go there specifically just to, to check out the Sydney funnel web. So yeah, Eerie Arachnids, hope I answered your question. And now 